Welcome back everyone, Coney is here. Today we're flying from Syracuse, New York to Rochester, New York. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I'll set a flight level of 3000 when I get in the cabin. Let's go ahead and go inside. Alright, setting that 3000 flight level. Take off the parking brake and let's go. Landing gear up. KH four two nine are continue for west departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Flaps up. Syracuse Tower KH four two nine are continue for west departure. Alright, I'm going to engage autopilot, navigation and altitude. Alright. So we should be on our way. Uh, let's see, what I wanted to do was actually back up this bird's eye view. Oh, that's pretty. Wow, look at all that. Look around from inside a little bit here. So I had all my graphics settings revert to super low again after a minor update. So what I did this time was I set them all to Syracuse high Tower instead KH of ultra, frequency change. and I'm giving that a try. I just boosted Syracuse the texture detail and object detail a little bit, otherwise it's just the high setting. Um, Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. So far it looks pretty good. I was having trouble with, uh, with my frame rate, and I realized that I had kind of set everything down to high anyway, and I'm at 4K, so this ought to actually be good. Let's go outside and actually take a look. Also, I'm going to pull back on the throttle because we've reached our altitude. We're starting to level off. Pull back to about 45%. So the frame rate looks pretty good. I'm not noticing any lagging, any you know hiccups, anything. Um, it seems to look pretty good. One three four decimal two seven five four kh four two nine. Syracuse approach. Okay, now from this view, I did notice a little bit of a lag. Um, so there's there's some hiccups there. Huge amount of detail. Probably our altitude or something. That's a nice view. It looks very realistic. Amazing what the photogrammetry data does. I had se hadn't seen this livery before. I guess it's from a previous version of the game. It's kind of cute looking. Okay, I'm going to go midway on the throttle. See if we can afford to go a little faster. Yeah, it really looks like just a video picture from a chase helicopter. Might as well go exploring a little bit with the drone. Oh, 
I'll stay attached to the plane for now. If we stay in line with the plane, then we'll share the same textures, and so maybe the view will be better, actually, other than heading off somewhere. Starting to hear birds and wildlife. Not sure exactly where this is, but it's very pretty. I am starting to think maybe I should get one of the later NVIDIA cards, 30 series cards. I'm on a 2080 Ti. It does a pretty decent job, but it would be nice to be able to crank everything up to Ultra and actually get a decent frame rate near the ground like this. Uh, if I'm way up in the air, it's not such a problem. See some cars on the ground. Big old truck. Okay, well, they seem to be behaving themselves there. Let's go back and check on the plane. Speed, uh, heading, altitude, all good. Nothing immediately in our way. Alright, so what else can we go look at? Oh, I think I just passed the plane. See if I can find it again. Acoustically. Oh, there we are. <laughs> okay, that... That's a fun... Oop, that's a fun view. Uh, sorry if I'm making people dizzy. Alright, let's go back to the external view. Back inside the plane. Approach KH 429er is type Beechcraft King Air 4 miles south of zero Delta 5. Request flight following. KH 429er approach. Squawk 1475. Squawk 1475 KH 429er. KH-429er radar contact 4 miles south of 0 delta 5, 3,000 feet. Altimeter 29er, decimal 9er 2. Okay, I'm gonna begin slowing Copy this down. KH-429er. Okay, so I'm gonna slow
and I'm going to take over for autopilot. Slow us down just a bit more. I'm not as good at keeping on heading as the autopilot is. My goal is to not lose too much altitude, get the plane slowed down, get it to a point where I can put the landing gear down and put the flaps down. Stay around 2500 feet or above so I can get into the landing pattern easily. I'm going to de-throttle some more. I'd like to see us drop in speed. Okay, of course that caused us to drop altitude. We're still at a good altitude though. Um, I can slow us down a bit by nosing up. That white stripe on the speed ticker tape is coming close. And we can put the flaps down once we're in that range. Going to dethrottle just a bit more. Chime tells us that we're below our set altitude by 300 feet. Okay, when nose up just a bit see if I can get our speed down some more. Alright, put the flaps down part way. Push hard forward on the stick to keep from nosing up too much. Landing gear down. And steer us on course a bit. We've gained some altitude. I'm going to drop a bit. Feels like we hit some kind of an air pocket, had to push forward on the stick a bit there.
Okay, and let's go back to level and drop some speed. All right, nothing up, just a little bit. Try to drop speed and get a little bit more altitude for pattern entry. So at this point, I'm going to drop the flaps all the way and give us some thrust. Alright, so now we should be able to control a much slower speed. Don't, don't want to gain too much altitude, having to push a bit hard on the stick. Approach KH-429er. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. KH-429er approach. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Cleared through Charlie airspace, KH-429er. Waiting for the co-pilot to contact the tower. Rochester traffic KH 429er 11 miles east 2500 feet inbound to land runway 28. Oh, nice, right there. <laughs> Alright, well, I didn't hear anything back from the tower. Maybe it's one of those just announce yourself things. Okay, well, I'll let the co pilot handle that. I'm going to head over towards the right side, try to get visual center on the runway. Okay, so I can actually see it now, and we're going to start descending. So I can probably drop the throttle. Rochester traffic KH-429er is on final runway 28 to land. Alright, so he called out f on final. That was one of the options in the menu. So it's basically a do-it-yourself airport. I wonder if we could just maintain this speed all the way down at this angle. 
seems to be kind of stable at the moment. sure what that beeper is. Might have something to do with automated landing or approach or something. Rochester traffic Skywest 306610 miles east inbound ILS runway 28. Yeah he said ILS instrument landing system or instrumented landing system I guess. I think this plane has that. I don't know how to use it. I need to follow a tutorial and find out how to, how to do that. Okay, so we're starting to gain some speed. I'm going to drop throttle some more. Just try to keep visual center on the runway. Drop on the throttle. I'm kind of starting to feel the drop now. Getting a little bumpy towards the ground. I remember that from landing in a real little airplane. Landing gear are down. And drop throttle some more. We seem to be gliding in okay. Let's see if we can just keep that going. Ah, just a little puff of thrust, just for safety sake. Rochester traffic KH four two nine are going around. Going around? I'm not planning to go around. Maybe it was that thrust. It didn't like that. Okay, let's let's just hover, drop those rear wheels, and hit the brakes. Drop the nose. Hit the brakes. Some more, and let's find a way off the runway. Looks like I'll be turning here. I don't know if I'm supposed to just find a place to park on my own. I guess we'll find out in the mount. Oh, there's the place I guess I'm supposed to land at, but I've already touched down. I guess the co-pilot should have checked with the pilot first before calling it in. Alright, I'm going to put on the parking brake and let's see what we've got here. Rochester traffic KH 429er is clear of the runway. Alright, and it's on us to go find a place to park. Maybe they're closed on Sundays or something, I don't know. Not really sure where general aviation parking is, but the game's not going to care if I just park anywhere I want. Oh 
Alright, I think we'll just park over here somewhere. Rochester traffic, Skywest 30661 miles northeast inbound ILS runway 28. Parking brake on. I wouldn't mind popping out, just looking around a little bit for a minute. Okay, that's not what I meant. Sometimes I turn on the uh, 360 or the Xbox controller and the plane suddenly throttles up. Uh, okay, let's switch to the drone. Oh, wow, it's way back there. What do you know? Interesting. So peaceful and serene here. All right. Anyway, um, reset to the plane. Look around the airport a little bit. Doesn't look like it's anything really fancy. I see an awful lot of cars over there. Avionics before shutting off the engine. Hope I can still shut off the engine okay. Probably. Here it goes. Rochester traffic, Skywest 3066 is clear of the runway. Still not Rochester clear to me how to turn off the engines from clear of the runway. Logitech equipment. I'll have to see if I can figure that out. Uh, but there goes the engines. Wait till they come to a complete stop. trying to turn stuff off. There we go. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.